Hello everyone, this is Maxim from Element O, and we are going to learn how to make vertical shape dividers uh, like these. So mostly what I will teach you is how to use the normal Elementor shape dividers, but uh, instead of using them at the bottom of the sections, we will use them as column dividers. So the first thing you need to know about this is that it will work well mostly for 50-50 layouts. So when the columns are 50% uh, each, the default, and there is only two columns, then what I'm going to show you will work uh, very well. So let me show you how to make these. Here I already have all of them made, but let's just go here and uh, let's add some new one for in our section. It will work as well as long as the section, uh, the columns are 50 50. So let's just first by adding some uh, color. So let's go with this color and then uh, let's just go let's actually make this maybe a little bit bigger yeah all right and then let's go in the section settings and the first thing you will want is to add the code that you will find in my article so go here go under advanced and then copy paste this code that you will find in the article here and if you don't have Elementor Pro, I suggest you get it. But if you don't want to get it, you can replace all those selectors by a uh, class name that you will give your inner section or your normal section. So now that we have the code added, eh, everything should be ready for the shape divider to work fine. So the code works for bottom shape dividers. That's the one it, it's uh, modifying. So you will want to select uh, bottom and then uh, one times, and then you will want to play with the settings to have it show up. So you see what's happening. It's showing up, it's fine, but then there is this gap. And if we were to make it much larger, you will see now it goes over the text. So that's where a little bit of uh, playing with the code and settings adjustments will be needed. And for the width, eh, this is just according to your preference. So this really doesn't matter on if it works or not. It's just cosmetic. You set it to however you want it to look. But for the height, it kind of doesn't matter also. So let's say we wanted like this, for example, then you, you set uh, this height. And then the only other thing is you need to go back to that code and adjust this left value here. So now you want it a little bit uh, more to the left. So you will decrease this value. So, and ideally you would like make it as big as uh, there is no gap. So like, 37 so to give it a few extra pixels just to be safe let's say 34 and now we have our uh, vertical shape divider working perfectly fine so it's really that simple uh, for when the, both columns are 50% it's it's that simple so let's uh, do this one a there is another something that you need to know about this. So let's first add again some color. All right. And then let me actually go and add it right away in the shape divider. Because now it's in my clipboard. So bottom. Let's select anyone for now. Let's add this. Now you see we don't have the code, so it's at the bottom. Let's go copy paste the code here. And now you see what happens is it's pointing to the right. So when you want the uh, uh, divider essentially flipped around, what you need to change is here, the rotate value. 
it needs to go from 270 to 90. And now it's fine, but the alignment is not. So that's where you play again with the uh, left value. And sometimes it needs to be a negative value, as is this case. OK, so let's see. Yeah, so let's go with 49. And now you see we've got the, uh, the shape divider working just fine on the other side as well. So just need to flip it by changing the rotate value. And now let's just have a look at which one works with this technique. So most of them do, but some adjustments are needed sometimes. Uh, and some of them just, uh, yeah, much, uh, man, a lot of adjustments are needed. So like, eh, it doesn't look great. So you need to make it taller and then you need to increase this a lot. And even then I don't like this. So usually I can just enter some value here. And something like this kind of looks uh, better already. So yeah, so for zigzag, maybe you will want to play with it. Let's keep going. Let's bring this back to some uh, default uh, setting. And if you want, flip should still work. So you can play with the other settings as well. Invert doesn't work at all because yeah, it just doesn't work with this. And bring to front, this is already enabled so that it shows up above the section instead of uh, kind of behind it, uh, the, the column not this section. So let's keep going. And for all of these, of course, you can always play with the settings. And sometimes some code adjustments is needed to fill in the gap, depending on, on what setting you change. Or like if I increase this a lot, you see now it goes over the text. So we need to push it back to the middle. Um, the, those ones looks good. Tilt opacity, uh, fan opacity, like this one looks good. Like this, it's adjusted, but like if we wanted it a, a lot of it, then it still works. Just need to play and, and modify it. So let's try to make this one work. So oh, that's close. Let's see, 39 to do it quickly. So that seems to work just fine. And you could even play with the translate Y value here to center it a little bit more. So maybe decreasing it. Now you see it's kind of more in the center. So finally, let's try to make this work even if the columns are not exactly 50-50. Uh, so let's go with this 60-40 layout. Uh, you will want to set the color as background in the column. All right. And then because the color is set as background to the column directly and not to the section, you will notice that we have this uh, white space showing up here. Actually, we had the same problem here with this one, but not on this section right here because this one was set to full width. So this means that the columns will occupy the whole width. So even if the color is set behind the column, uh, we still don't have this white gap because the section is set to full width. But when you use a box section, which is needed to make the uh, vertical divider work on anything but 50-50 columns. Then in this case, you will want to use this little trick to expand the background all the way to the edge. Otherwise, you will have this wide gap. So we'll add it to both of these sections. And here is L. So the first thing you want is to set uh, one of them essentially transparent so that it's kind of flexible and the other color needs to be the same color as your uh, column background. And then the angle needs to be either 
270 or 90 depending which side and what you want and then the location needs to be 50. So there we have it works perfectly. Uh, let's add let's actually copy paste the style all to then we will copy paste the selector uh, the uh, divider the shape divider as well so let's just go and and do it again so let's uh, make one of the color transparent let's make the other the right color let's uh, split it 50 50 and then i think we'll need 90 in this case yep so you see, and it looks much better this way. We still have the background extending all the way to the edge of the screen, but at the same time, the content is boxed. So this is a, a nice way to make this work. Okay, so now let's get back to the shape divider. So let's go and add the code. Let me zoom back in. And now let's first go and set up some shape divider. Let's use a fan opacity. All right, let's set the color. and then we'll want to position it but first let's try to make it look a little bit closer i will want it to be okay let's say something like this and now let's go back in the code and let's adjust it so okay let's go with uh, 184 and then let's also bring it let's try to center the design a bit all right this looks good or if we wanted to center it even more maybe something like this all right So let's uh, update and let's go have a look what it looks like. Well, that looks good. And if we zoom in and out, it's pretty stable. So that works good because if you simply use a full width section uh, on this, and then you try to make it in, the, in this way, you will run into problems for different monitor sizes. So let me quickly show you. So you see it looks very similar, but if I zoom out, you see it starts to clip out and now it disappears completely on different size. So that's why it's much easier to make it in the middle than even on different kind of monitor size. It works just fine. Uh, even if the section is set to full width, like this one right here, so you see we keep the divider it doesn't clip out because it's kind of centered in the in the middle uh, of the page whereas this one because it's a 60 40 percent then the percentage uh, and the pixels value they don't match so that's why this offset occurs you could uh, use uh, percentage values to get better results but even then it still doesn't work great so i suggest you instead do it the way i showed uh, to just keep the uh, section uh, boxed and then your vertical divider will work a lot better uh, even if the sections are not set to uh, 50 50. all right so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please let me know if you did and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for uh, more similar content